Through your goodness, Lord, we have this bread and wine to offer, the fruit of the earth and the work of human hands. They will become our spiritual food. All things come from you, O Lord, and of your own do we give you. Blessed be God forever. Amen. If you'd like to participate in this mystical meal, this holy meal, we invite you to have bread or crackers before you. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and a good and joyful thing, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Father Almighty, everlasting God. For you bid your faithful people cleanse their hearts and prepare with joy for the Paschal Feast, that fervent in prayer and in works of mercy, and renewed by your word and sacraments, they may come to the fullness of grace, which you have prepared for those who love you. Therefore we praise you, joining our voices with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, who forever sing this hymn to proclaim the glory of your name. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Holy and gracious Father, all creation rightly gives you praise. All life, all holiness comes from you through your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, whom you sent to share our human nature, to live and die as one of us, to reconcile us to you, the God and Father of all. We therefore bring you these gifts and ask you to make them holy by the power of your Spirit, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, who offered himself in obedience to your will, the perfect sacrifice for all mankind. On the night he was betrayed, he took bread. When he had given thanks to you, he broke it, gave it to his disciples and said, Take this, eat it. This is my body which is given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. After supper, he took the cup of wine, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this whenever you drink it for the remembrance of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. Father, calling to mind the death of your Son, endured for our salvation, his glorious resurrection and ascension, his continual intercession for us in heaven, and looking for his coming again in glory, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and life-giving sacrifice. Look with favor on your church's offering and grant that we who eat and drink these holy gifts may be filled with your Holy Spirit and become one body in Christ, and serve you in unity, constancy, and peace. May he make us a perpetual offering to you and enable us in communion with St. Bartholomew, the Blessed Virgin Mary, and the whole company of heaven to share in the inheritance of your saints with him and in him and through him. By the power of the Holy Spirit, we worship you, Father, with all who stand before you in earth and heaven in songs of everlasting praise. Blessing and honor and glory and power be yours forever and ever. Amen. As our Savior taught us, we now pray.
we break this bread to share in the body of Christ. We are one body because we all share in one bread. This is the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Happy are those who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word and I shall be healed. My brothers and sisters, in Christ draw near and receive his body which he gave for you, his blood which he shed for you. Remember that he died for you and feed on him in your hearts by faith with thanksgiving. Grant, gracious Lord, that we so eat the flesh of your dear Son, Jesus Christ, and drink his blood, that we may evermore dwell in him and he in us. Amen. At this time, wherever you are, we invite you to share in this holy meal with us at St. Bartholomew's. Let us pray our post-communion prayer. Eternal God and Heavenly Father, we thank you for feeding us with the body and blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. Send us now into the world in peace and grant us strength and courage to love and serve you and all persons in you with gladness and singleness of heart. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Life is short, and we have but little time to gladden the hearts of those who travel the way with us. So be swift to love, and make haste to be kind. The blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, bless, preserve, and keep you this day and forevermore. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord.